Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Uh, today we're taking a look at the HTC One X. As you can see, we're starting up from fresh here just to show you how this is going to work. Uh, right out of this, right out of the box, rather not not right out of the box, but uh, right from the start screen. Popping this open, what we're going to look at today is uh, Tegra Three applications. We're going to look at several um, games popping out right from the start screen, just so you can see how fast everything loads up and how's everything looks uh, right when you start your device up. We're going to start with Riptide GP. This is one of several games made uh, optimized specifically for Tegra devices. Uh, you know, uh, developed with NVIDIA by the developers to make it work fantastically on NVIDIA devices. As you're going to notice for this game, uh, we have demoed it before on a tablet or two, is that there's enhanced effects. This game is also out for iOS, but it looks the most fantastic on Tegra devices. This version has a few more water effects splashing in your face, eventually you'll see here, uh, as well as, you know, when I speed it, when I sped through there with the turbo, it uh, looks a little bit different as well. Let's get some splashes up on the screen there. Yep, pretty cool. Splashes right on the screen there, and then let's crash. There we go. Fun. Now we're gonna go on to the next game. Next we got Pinball HD for Tegra. As you can see, I'm not start. I'm not ending the game before that. I'm just gonna keep it open there. Now once we get into here, you'll see we have several tables. Uh, the only version of Pinball HD that has more tables is the iOS version, but that version does not have as enhanced of tables of these three as it does here on Android. We're gonna go into the Wild West table here. Just play it a little bit, just to show you what it's all about. This is, uh, this game. This game is made by the people at GameProm, and it's by far the most awesome pinball game you're gonna find on the mobile platform for for any mobile platform. It's just uh, really sweet. Let that pop around there. You'll see we can uh, switch views here while it's going. You don't need to shut it off or anything like that. We can switch views like this, and works great. Now, I'm next I'm going to go to the next game, without stopping that one as well, uh, go to Global. Now, Global was made specifically by a group to show off Tegra, once again, but it's made to show off its abilities to render. Uh, so, you're going to see some fantastic effects here, but not just a whole lot of, you know, challenging gameplay. Um, what I want to do here is show you that you go through there, you can see the light changing, you can see those little, uh, you know, the shroud change in there. If I'm able to hit one of these boxes, I see it pop open. Shoot me there. I'll back up. Go to one of these. Whoop. Just smash me out of the table there. Or away. These are flipping around. You can also do things like uh, split the screen. Let's see if I can make it play. Like, let's go uh, split screen. Right there. Now what you can see is uh, uh, lighting and rendering being ha happening on this side, but not on this side at all. So it's pretty cool. Pow. Okay. Next game we're gonna play is Shadowgun THD. This version of the game is only out for Tegra. Nvidia, uh, if you did not know, you has a, a bunch of developers on their side uh, working to enhance games. Uh, for the, you know, Tegra suite of uh, app uh, of uh, devices, I want to say. Uh, so what you're going to see here is a slightly enhanced version over any other kind you've seen. Um, iOS also has this game, but it's, um, you know, it's not as detail oriented. So we're going to go in here. Is we're in a spot where we're going to be able to see a cinematic. It'll take a couple of seconds here, so you can see it. Nice water effects back there. So Thing rendered on flat surfaces there. As you can see we go right in and out of those. We can go right through here. You can see things like fans moving. Here's the bad guys. Oh, not bad guys. This is actually some fire. That killed me, of course. Let's try it one more time here. What we're going to have to do here 
is uh, roll through that area, or at least time it better. Uh, there we go. As you can see, there's also some hot areas over here, so I want to stay away from those. Uh, you can see the fire rendering there in real time. We got some uh, area over here that we're gonna have to blast through or get through. There we are. And uh, once you know, once you get to enemies, they're, they're running at you, smashing you. They're looking nice. And you die. There you go. And then finally, we're gonna look at GTA 3. This game is not exclusive to Tegra, but is enhanced for Tegra. Uh, the people at Rockstar decided to enhance the game, but not to release it exclusively for Tegra at first. Uh, a lot of the people who do work with, with uh, NVIDIA to develop their games uh, work on a deal where they do have it exclusive for Tegra uh, for quite a while, and then it's released to other places as well. But uh, Rockstar went for the gold right away. They just sort of you know, use their power to release it on their own. Now, what we got going on here is the, you know, classic GTA 3 uh, made for Android. Now, it's it works, you know, it works on most uh, dual core devices. You're not going to want to end up playing this game on a single core device. It's going to go pretty slow. But, you know, it looks most fantastic in a device like this where four cores are going to really be used well. Especially if you don't crash into the wall like that. Ooh, ooh. Get that car. I think I want that car, but I don't want this one. Oh shoot, he drove away. Oh god, I gotta get him. Come back here! Here we go. Uh, give me that car. Nope, I need it. Let's go. You know, normally I'm a better uh, player at this game, I would say, but uh, looking through another screen here is a bit challenging. Let's see if we can thread the needle here. Smash. Let's do the haul. Let's make this thing blow up if we can. How's that sound? Okay. Last thing we're gonna do here, especially since we have this awesome ticket to the limit, if they keep it going, we're gonna go take it to the limit and uh, smash into the ocean over here. I think. There we go. Yeah. Oh, front flip, side flip. There we go. Let's just let this blow up. Goodbye.